Sup so, guys. Today we're going to be removing a three piece crank. S stick around to after the intro if you want to work out how you do it. This looks horrible. <laughs> Alright, so as I said, today we... Well, this lighting behind me is so bad. Today, we're going to be working out how to remove a three-piece crank. Now, if you don't know what a three-piece crank is, it is not the cranks I have on my bike. They are dub cranks, and I will do a video on that um, down the track on how to remove slash install them. But three-piece cranks are what I have here on my road bike, and... I'm getting ready to sell this road bike. So I'm gonna be doing a frame swap. Um, I did a frame swap, but I'm putting my parts back on the old frame again. Um, so I gotta remove my cranks and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get right into it. All right, so here are some of the tools you're gonna to need to do the job. You're gonna need a pedal wrench to remove the pedals off your cranks, a chain breaker to remove the chain off your cranks, an eight mil Allen key to remove the dust cap off your cranks and a crank remover. Um, this is essential. A 14 mil spanner um, to use the crank remover and a 22 mil spanner, or if you don't have that, then an adjustable shifter. Now, if you don't have all the tools that I just mentioned, there are ways around it. Obviously it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but they are the recommended tools for the job. Okay, so first step I would recommend is getting your pedals off when they're still on the cranks because if they are a bit tight, they can be a bit annoying to take off once the cranks are removed. So just keep in mind the left side one is reverse thread, so make sure you know which way you're turning it. Who did these up so tight? Yeah, probably me. All right, so now you've got your powders off, time to get your chain off and out of the road for your cranks. So now for the eight mil Allen keys, you wanna remove these dust caps off of your three piece cranks. and do the other side while you're at it. Okay, now for the removing part. You wanna get your chain remover, make sure it's lubed up with a bit of WD-40 or something like that. And you wanna thread it in to this, um, this socket of the cranks. Now, it'll once it gets finger tight, get your 22 mil um, spanner and just clamp it down, but not too tight. This is not vital. Just make sure it's firm. All right, then screw in the, this next piece. And once that gets tight, get your 14 mil and start cranking down on it. You might need a bit of leverage. and that will push the cranks off of the other side. All right, I'll run it through one more time because it can be a little bit confusing. Once you've removed your crank piece tool from the other side, thread it into this side. Get it finger tight, 22 mil spanner. Tighten it down. Yeah. 
all removed. All right, so in terms of installing the cranks back on after you've cleaned them or installing on a different bike, you wanna make sure you position your cranks back on the way they came and then get this dust cap slash clamp bolt and just screw it in and tighten it down. And it's as simple as that. Thanks to everyone who watched this slightly shorter video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. Uh, let me know if there was any other tutorial based mechanic style video, videos, videos you'd like me to do in the future. Um, remember to never go for a walk without your bike. Subscribe, share, like, all those things. It would really help me out. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.